the bigger the hair, the smaller the hip. So, some like it flat and some like it big. I'm talking about hair, not booty. And this is my celebrity stylist friend, Ted Gibson. He's here to show us how we can get it big. Big. Yes. And you know what I always say, the bigger the hair, the closer to God. And the bigger the hair, the smaller the hips. Oh. See? Yeah. <laughs> my underarms are wet enough. <laughs> Standing for you, Sandy. Now, as you, um, after you take the hot rollers out, what you want to do is you want to brush through it. After brushing through it, then you're going to take your brush and you're going to back Yes! It. Yes! Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you something about that. Now, you do it with a brush. With back me, I do a small it. tooth, a fine, a tooth, fine comb tooth comb right up in the roots. And you tease it. And then you spray it with <laughs> hairspray. And, it and then you dump your head over and you bring it back up. And then you get with the stick pins. And you stick the pins in your scalp. And the only way to create the these waves. Okay, you've got good face she has to good go face, with the big hair. Good hair. <laughs> and again, as you brush, and you were talking earlier about using a fine tooth comb. Yes. Look what I have in my back pocket. Fine tooth comb, that's my thing. Now, What's important is that if you're wanting to get more cushion at the scalp, that's right. Your fine Watch tooth this. Comb, you go up about an inch and a half and you start pulling down. That's right. But always make sure that you have a layer of smoothness on top so it yes. doesn't look too fuzzy. Absolutely. And all you have to do is just come back over top of it. In real life, fuzz is fine as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely. But apparently, there's something with this TV world where, you know, <laughs> my you fuzz is not acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> They're always flattening and doing. So, Daphne is what? A 10 inch number two in Weave Talk, but this is not a weave. Love that. It's not a weave. Yes. It's all hers. What did you say earlier? Ten, well, yeah, yeah, I rooted her. <laughs> yeah, no, but this, if it was Weave Talk, this would be a 10 inch number two. So, you see what you can really do with 10 inches of hair? You can really make it a big, big deal. And, yeah, and a silk pillowcase so you pillow don't case. break off your um, roots. Yes. If you wear wigs, then a silk wig bag works and sponge rollers. You can have it set and put it in your bag, and when you wake up in the morning, your hair is done. Okay, so now look. This is real important. La la la. Thank you, Daphne. This is a lace front wig. <laughs> <laughs> My wig girls. Okay, so let me just see how you have the lace up with the um, makeup line. Mm -hmm. This is an Invisiwig. I believe that Invisiwig is one of the best is, in the world. This is good. So girls, check that out. If you're not, if you're wanting to not have to work with your na your own natural hair, yeah. lace front is the way to do it. You glue the front, and then you just tack the back, and you're done. I'm not a big fan of the lace front wig. You're not? No. I like, the, I like the lace to be cut off and then you just attach it. Because you know why? Because in real life, like, you look beautiful on TV. You know the deal, girl. Is this your first time wearing one, Dominique? Yes. Okay. Well, trust when I tell you, when you walk out in the street, people are going to say, there's some glue. <laughs> there she go. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Like, you know what I'm saying, Ted. I know what you're saying. They're for, they're for shoots and for TV. But go yes. and tell how you get this hair, because this. I mean, yes. all of you are the fairest of them all, but this. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, one of the things, this is, most of it is natural, but in the front, what we did was we used a small barrel curling iron just to give it some little nice, I love that you know. Go ahead, now keep, yes, talking. keep talking, keep talking. Okay. So back homie now, do it. Do look, it. look, Wendy, we're going to do another one too. Look at this one. So all you do is you grab the hair and you do this. Oh, I know that one, uh-uh. And here's the other one. Okay, see what he's doing to make it big? Or you grab the hair and you do this. Oh. Honey, mm -hmm. it will have your roots look sitting, <laughs> sitting. Oh, I love the big hair. Okay, uh, listen, you claim you can fry anything. I think so, I can, as long as it doesn't kill me or the fryer. Okay, well, come here. We have an extinguisher down here just in case. <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly, on point. <laughs> oh, at wendyshow.com, we were asking people, do they want to see you fry? A mini diva fan, a pair of shoes, or one of my wigs? <laughs> the results are 74% of you want to see a wig fried. <laughs> First of all? Uh, sort of shame. Don't worry, I've got more. <laughs> We're going to batter this really batter well. Batter it up. Oh, mm -hmm. Isn't this good? Oh, you guys. Oh. What does it smell like in here? <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. This is the wig going in. Oh! <laughs> now, how long? How long does the wig have to stay before it's done? Don't need to give it very long at all, because it's. Uh... <laughs> there we go. Wow! <laughs> another minute or two, and another few seconds, and it'll be done. Christopher, thank you so much for being here. You keep frying that wig. Everybody, if you want more information about Christopher's store, Chip Shop in New York. Go to wendyshow.com.
If you're my friend, you're my friend. And if I'm your friend, I'm your friend. There's no waffling. There's no break. Cause you know we talked on hot topics, and maybe this was in the makeup room. I asked Fantasia if I can cut this off. I didn't like this and part. I told her no. And then she said, "But as long as we're being honest, I like you better with longer hair." And I said, <laughs> "I love you. I love you." The honesty. Please welcome a lovely lady named Florence Henderson. <laughs> I am so happy to be here with you, Wendy. This is 75, America. You look terrific. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you look wonderful. You keep your body together. Your hair is gorgeous. Listen, you always had great hair on the show. Um, I created those hairstyles. You know, as I look back, I don't know one. what I was thinking. Some, sometimes. But that one right there took off that you have right there. That is yes. like this, the early 70s version of maybe the cake plus eight. My yes. mom had that hairstyle, including yes. the frosting and the flip. Yeah, now, now uh, also a lot of people tell me, young people say, you created the mullet that I did. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. Now, uh, d did you roller set? Did you wear that hair in real life when you socialized? Uh, that was my hair. That's your, that was your hair? Yeah, hair. that was just my hairdo. I always changed my hair. I always wanted to do something different. So sometimes it would be very short. The first year of the Brady Bunch, a lot of you don't know this, but that big blonde uh, head of hair yes. that I had was uh -huh. not mine because I had just done the movie The Song of Norway. And they had cut my hair and made the front of my hair very blonde. Gotcha. And then I had all these beautiful hair pieces. Uh -huh. So when I came back, my hair wasn't right for Carol Brady. So they put this wig on me, and I called it my bubble do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, and what? <laughs> no. Excuse me. What? I was like, wait a minute. No, no I have that costume. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, for Halloween, you whip that out every once in a while. No, after midnight. Oh, ooh, <laughs> Wendy. I was so excited. It's so cool. Celebrate. I love your hair. Do you do this hair in real life as well? I'm I'm a wavy, curly-haired person. Yeah. Everybody wants to wear their hair straight. Yes. And I am not... Too much I, maintenance. Yeah, no. And I feel kind of prissy. Yeah. And I feel kind of too put together. I want to be, like, wild and free. That's what I say. Right? Exactly. High five. Hot, wild and free. Wild okay. and free. Now, so... I love the dark hair. Very Kardashian of you. Well, you know... Well, you know, I'm feeling the dark hair, too. Do you looks know, amazing. Do you know what? You looked really good as a blonde. But Thank what you. I have to say, and I heard this a while ago, like, you know, God doesn't mess up when he gives us our natural hair color, and so maybe we just sometimes need to go with that. I like it. Oh, oh thank you, baby. You look fabulous, too. The darker hair is working for both of us, you, right? Well, I don't know. Have you ever been blonde blonde? No, but you know what? I got a new wig line coming out, and I did some blonde blonde. Yeah. And it was shocking. I didn't know if my mama could handle me walking the house blonde blonde, because, you know, we don't want to get that confused with nothing, so. Yeah. But I liked it, so. But I don't know. How about you? Are you enjoying being darker? I, well, natural color, pretty much, you know. Yeah. You know, I was born, like, a number two. Okay. Got some, you know, highlights in here. Um, I like it because it doesn't look as fussy and messy as blonde hair. You know, blonde hair a lot of times because the color's been stripped out of it. Yes. Tends to look very frayed and fried on yeah. TV. I would just be frightened of going that blonde. Yeah. To be very honest with you, just because of the edges, you know. <laughs> right. You know, you just show up, you ain't got none no more. Like, what happened? I, I was blonde. I, move. I never know if, like, guys are going to get really squeamish about it. Did but... your husband, was he around? Was he oh, in, yeah, he was, was he in, in the room. room. He insisted. If okay. it hadn't my druthers, he would not. But, okay. Um, yeah, he was in the room, and he's, like, really mellow, like, California. I know. <laughs> Sorry. I <laughs> love it. No, do it. <laughs> I, can give you some, I can give you some details. We were just in the, we were in the dressing room, like, Wendy gives good hair. I got to, like, practice. Thank you. So good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the first time you two met was on a blind date. Yes. Tell who set it up, if you remember, and, and how he behaved. Actually, the hairstylist, I was on Guiding Light. The hairstylist worked on Guiding Light and Saturday Night Live. Yes. And she said, I have a guy I want you to meet. And I'm like, okay, cool, let's set it up. So it was Chris Rock. I had seen the show, but I didn't, you know, I didn't know. And 
he came to pick me up in Brooklyn, and we no, had I a. I met you at the show. Oh, that's right, because it was the rap party. Yes, right uh, uh, at SNL. At SNL, the yes. rap parties are infamous. Yeah, it was yes. great. It's rap so... party. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So then he, um, we went on a date after we kind of hung out, and he took me back to Brooklyn and dropped me off. And I'm like, okay, so I guess this is the part where you exchange numbers. Make a long story short, a week goes by, and I didn't hear from him. He gave me his number, and I'm like, God, I gave him mine. He didn't call me. And um, finally, I call him, and I dial the number, and this man <laughs> gave me a wrong number. Oh. oh. Can you imagine? Now, now, why would we have done that? Did you do that purposely? Yes, I did it purposely. Ah! Ah! <laughs> she was kind of obnoxious. No, I wasn't. Here's what, you know how you go on a date and this one thing means oh, we're not God. going out again? Yes. It could be like one thing. Yes. The so whole yeah. thing could be fine. Okay. And then one thing uh -huh. can end it. So at yeah. some point in the date, I go, are you seeing anybody, right? Don't get And she me. says, oh, you, you, oh. hey, she says, no, but I know where to get some ah! if I need it. and you're working steadily. Amber, what did you do? I don't want to say with your mm. first check because we are in a recession, but what was your <laughs> first big buy? Something that you bought new Amber with a full-time job. <laughs> you're, she, you're, I like it. She bought her Christian Libertans. Yes, yeah. I did. And, and do, you, do you have more? Did you just buy that one pair? I have three. Three pair? I have three pairs of Louboutins, and they are definitely my heart. Yes. Um, I treat them like babies. Mm -hmm. um, on my way here, uh, on the plane, I actually stuff them in my purse. I will not check them and put them in my suitcase. Will not do it. Give me, give me some. Yes. There, there are two things that I don't check. My shoes and my wigs. I'm sorry. No, either one. And my hair was in my bag, too. Exactly. Yes. I don't play those games. So our next guest makes headlines wherever she goes. She's always doing something, whether it's feuding with Puffy, posing for Playboy, performing in her underwear, just a hot mess. And I love it. <laughs> Please welcome Aubrey O'Day. I do. It's good to see you. Good to see you. You look amazing. I haven't seen you in a while. Love your shoes. Thank you. Aubrey you is one of the fabulous um, guests from our six week sneak peek who you, because of you and, and um, some of the other guests, you helped this show get picked up. I know our, our so. YouTube is like highly watched. Our, our interview? Yeah, people love it. How many tracks do you have in? Are the, is, just are, clippings this time. Just clippings. Yeah. No, we talk. We talk hair. <laughs> Listen, we go back. The more hair, the better. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the lo lovely Gabrielle Anwar. <laughs> like Fiona on the show. Her character's name is Fiona on Burn Notice. Thank you. Now, I, <laughs> look, I love how you've teased your scalp and your hair. Oh, you do? Oh, you I, approve? Oh, I love oh, it. thank you. Please, here on this show, we love big hair. At least I do. Oh, good for you. So, now, look, your hair looks beautiful. For a woman of your age, a lot of times they're thinning. Is that thinning. Oh, is that, do you have pieces? Nothing? Yeah, of course. Oh, of it course. Do I have pieces? Are you out of your mind? Of Can I take I them to my mother, too? Yeah. Thank you, Mommy. I got those hair. Unbelievable. I love you, Joan Rivers. Yes. But, you know, other than a couple of things, we don't know that much about you, so this is our chance to really talk, so uh -oh. don't... No, come on now. Uh-oh, Andy. Let me loosen you up. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> okay, so now... Okay. We love your persona. Thank you. You know, I mean... The wigs. You know I can appreciate a wig. I know you can. <laughs>